1981 FJ43. This thing is bad ass. Look at this thing. So under the hood, they got a V6 in there. The outside has been restored to like pristine condition, man. That is awesome. Beautiful. It's like a work of art. Immaculate, perfect, in brand new condition. And you can buy one of these. If you want to buy one of these, go to the FJ Company's website. It's uh, fj.com. And you can buy this one right here for $200,000. <laughs> Check out this Toyota Tacoma. This is nice. This is how I'd like to uh, build my own Tacoma up one day. Silver lifted, bead locks, bumper with LED lights. I like that roof rack. It's got that truck bed kind of cage going on. Auto packs for the fuel, region industry lights, got a rooftop tent. I already like this setup, man. That's nice. This is the Warren Winch booth. Got a big old tundra in here. All right, I'm at the TJM booth at SEMA. They got all kinds of cool stuff here. First off, they have this Toyota 4Runner. It's got all their parts on it. But look at that, they got a cool rooftop temp. This is called the TJM Ulara. That's nice. Let's see if we can take a look up inside there. Tons of space in there. Man, they just make all kinds of cool stuff. TJM uh, cargo box, TJM bumpers, TJM snorkels. Let's see, is this a TJM awning? Probably is. Yep, sure is TJM awning. That's nice. It's got the legs you can fold up in there. TJM rear bumper. The LED lights in there. Look at all the tools you can put on this back bumper. You can put a fuel pack, a high lift jack, a shovel, and a full size spare. That's awesome. Check this out. So when you look at this from the front, it looks like a Tundra, but it's actually a Sequoia. It has a Sequoia body with a Tundra front end. That's cool. I like that. Oh look, it's even sponsored by Trigica. <laughs> That's awesome. Check this out. It's a Toyota truck. They're probably not one you've ever seen before, at least not in the United States. This is a Toyota Hilux or Helux. I don't even know how you say it. But yeah, this is uh, the Toyota truck that you might see in other countries. I spotted this Toyota Tacoma. This thing is nice, man. It's got Cryptek body wrap on it. Cryptek is that uh, high speed, low drag camo, if you don't know. That is cool. I like this. Let's check it out. So, up front, it's got a bodyguard bumper, it's got Hase LEDs, it's got a 
factor 55 mat link I don't know what kind of winch is in there it's got center line wheels with uh, deed locks I don't know if those are real or not they look real King off-road reservoir shocks adjustable coilover rhino rack I like those rhino racks those are nice another uh, he's LED light bar hopefully I'm saying that right look sponsored by BCM that's what I'm talking about look at that US night vision surefire dang this thing has got some good sponsors on there There's that low profile truck bed uh, rhino rack that seems to be popular in the show. I like it. Like I said before, many times it's lower so you can put your gear on top without causing a lot of drag. I like that. Here's a look at the back bumper. It's a bodyguardbumpers.com. Very nice. Getting all kinds of ideas. And I spotted this Lexus GX 470. My uh, brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and my mother-in-law, they all have this exact SUV. This is nice. Look at this thing. It's got a DO front bumper, total chaos, long travel suspension, king off road shocks, Baja design LEDs, Factor 55 link. It's got bead locks, Maxxis tires. No LED uh, light bar up top, which is kind of strange for SEMA. Usually they always do. I don't know who makes this roof rack, but it's pretty nice. It's like custom fitted. I see some mat tracks up there. Wait, those aren't mat tracks, those are a different company. Tread Pro Advanced Recovery. Looks like there's another, uh, another recovery track on the market. I don't even know what that says. I'll have to do some research. It's nice though. I kind of like the black and gold. Swing away tire rack in the back. Keeps the tire nice and high too. I like that. That is cool. The nice thing about the GX470, it's a big old V8. I spotted this pretty badass Toyota Tacoma in the back lot of SEMA. At first glance, it just looks like any other lifted Tacoma. But there's a lot of details on this truck that makes it really cool, at least to me anyway. The wheels caught my eye. These are black Rhino hard alloy wheels with bead locks. He's running Falcon tires. And the entire truck has been lined with some kind of bed liner. I don't know who uh, did it, but it's pretty cool. So it's basically indestructible. You don't have to worry about damaging the paint job on this thing. It's, it's like sandpaper. That's cool. It's got an ARB front bumper with a worn winch. Check out this uh, tow hook. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. Pretty cool. It's got wheeling LEDs all over the place. Grill craft grill insert. I like how the LEDs are tucked inside the grill. That's cool. Some more uh, windshield LEDs by Whelan. Up top, LED light bar by Whelan. It's got a rhino rack up there. It's got some roto packs. Looks like those are water roto packs. Oddly enough, he doesn't have any rock sliders. 
he's not worried about banging rocks into his body there. <laughs> Maybe those are coming next. He's got a rhino rack in the back over the truck bed. High lift jack. Another shot of those black rhino wheels. And I really like those. In the back, he's running a Fab Fours rear bumper. There's a trash room trash bag. That's a nice bumper. I like these uh, tow mounts for recovery. They have a cool look. Those are by uh, Warren as well. They just look cool. And up here, he's got a recovery shovel, ARV fridge in the back. Looks like he's got a cargo slide, a cargo bed slider. That looks like it's uh, going to come in handy. Outer limit supply first aid. Up top, he's got mat tracks. Got to have your mat tracks. I guess you get stuck in the mud or sand or whatever. But yeah, that's a pretty cool Tacoma. Love me some Tacomas. Check out this super clean Forerunner. That's nice. It's not over the top. It's just got some basic mods. It doesn't even have an aftermarket bumper. It's just your stock bumper, but really cool wheels. It's got a bed liner on the fender flares. It's got some uh, NFEB side steps going on up here it's got a snorkel for those river crossings cargo carrier up top real simple clean got a spare tire carrier it's just mounted to your uh, hitch that's cool that's just real simple I like it I like this Tundra TRD Pro mostly because they tucked all kinds of LEDs in the front behind the grill. <laughs> I like that. So you basically have a stock looking front end, but underneath you got tons of LEDs. You got three rows of LEDs tucked inside. And then you got LEDs in the corners too where the fog lights are. I like that. Simple and clean. Look at this uh, Land Cruiser. It's been um, lined. I don't know what kind of lining it is. I think it's a Rhino lining. So it's tough and it's green. It's got like an OD green Rhino lining. Man, that stuff is like sandpaper. It's so so uh, scratchy. You don't have to worry about it though. I like these wheels. Look at these wheels. That's nice. They got these, I don't know why these are here, but they look cool. Almost remind me of NRAP wheels in a way. <laughs> Those are cool. It says Hutchison. So I'm assuming those are Hutchison wheels. I don't know anything about those wheels, but they just look cool. Check out this uh, Forerunner. Really clean and simple. No crazy bumpers front or rear. But it does have really cool wheels. Look at this. I think I spotted the wheels that I want to get someday. These are black rhino hard alloys. And the reason I like these is because they have these bolts in there that kind of look like MRAP wheels. I mean, I know they're not, but they look like MRAP wheels. It just looks cool. I like it. All right, so this is for all you guys out there that were asking for footage of Toyota 4Runners. Check it out. I spotted a 1985 4Runner. It's an old school one. This is nice. It's kind of like a real world off-road vehicle. It's not a trailer queen by any means. It's lifted. It's running hand-cooked tires. I don't know this wheel company. I think it says Vision on there. Not sure if those are real uh, bead locks or not. Probably the real. This just looks like a real used vehicle that goes off road. He upgraded the seats. He's got a simple 
roof rack that you can buy pretty much at any auto parts store. Jerry can, spare tire up top. Fender flares. ARB front bumper. Look at that. That's back when Toyota used to make solid axles. I wish they would do that. Looks like he beefed up that original factory axle. Like, uh, welded a support brace on there. Pretty cool. Well, let's see. Over here he's got a snorkel for going across rivers. Let's look at the inside. It's the best of 1985. <laughs> there you go. It's a look at a 1985 Forerunner at SEMA. Holy crap. This has to be the biggest Toyota 4Runner I've ever seen. I mean, as far as lift goes, I've never seen a lift this big on a 4Runner. I almost didn't think it was a 4Runner at first, but it says right there, 4Runner. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at the size of this thing. What size tires are these? 54 inch tires. Wow. That's incredible. Oh man, that is nuts. Jeez, that thing is crazy. Too big for you from Texas. And they spotted this icon built FJ40 called the Old School. These things used to be dirt cheap back in the old days, but now they're crazy expensive. Icon's known for super detailed work. They stuffed in a 2.8 liter Cummins turbo diesel under the hood. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this thing is super clean. Yeah, Icon makes basically works of art. I like these little jumper sheets. You can buy these things from Icon directly if you want to. There's their uh, website right there and their phone number, icon4x4.com. I stopped by the uh, Performance Plus Oil booth and they have a pretty badass Toyota Land Cruiser that's running their oil. And this thing was driven all the way to SEMA on every back road possible, 3,800 miles from Missouri. That's pretty badass. Look how dirty it is. They didn't even bother to clean it up. But that's the whole point of these things. It's an off-road vehicle. You're supposed to go off-road in these things. That's nice. So we just saw an Icon Toyota. <laughs> that thing was spotless. And this is the polar opposite. This Land Cruiser has been beat up, lived in and used. <laughs> they picked up a, a high heel along the way. Look, they got a cooler in the back. Old school cooler, nothing fancy here, just ice and a Coleman. That's all you need. Got the jerry cans for extra fuel. Oh look, they were running a GoPro. They didn't lose it. There's our high lift jack up there. That's cool. Pretty tight quarters in here. Oh look, they got fire extinguishers down there. I think that's fire extinguishers. Alright, let's fly around here. I'm at the Cummins booth at SEMA. Spotted this uh, 19, I think this is a 1970 Toyota Land Cruiser pickup truck. But they squeeze in their new Cummins diesel engine. It's the uh, R2.8 turbo diesel. And they squeeze it in there. It's nice. ARB bumper. 
This is cool. You don't see these very often. I think this is from South America because it's got a right-hand drive steering wheel, manual locking hubs. Yeah, if this was from Australia, it would have been on the other side. So I think this is a South American vehicle. I heard somebody say it might be. Pretty cool. It's got a truck bed in the back. It's Linex or Rhino Line or something. Full size spare tuck back there. You got a headache rack with a rigid industries light bar. That's really nice, man. I would love to have this thing. Makes me miss my old Toyota pickup truck. Simple, it gets the job done. Hey, is that Henderson? MMA fighter? I'm at the Cooper Tires booth. And I spotted this Toyota Tacoma. It was built for 511 Tactical. Let's look at this thing from front to back. It's got a, like almost like a hybrid two bumper in the front. Warren winch. Camberg suspension. It's got that desert tan look. I like that paint job. So I got these little uh, windshield lights. Surprisingly, there's no light bar on top. I guess they're trying to stay low profile as far as height goes. Pretty stock on the inside. Check out this truck rack. It's all modular. You can put all your gear, yeah, strap it to the back, and molly straps and everything. Got a tube bumper in the back. Two full-size spares that are cut into the truck bed. That's cool. It keeps the weight lower and keeps the wheels lower. There's an ARB air compressor. I see a refrigerator back there. You got all their packs. There's a rooftop tent. Looks like this truck rack is actually lower. It's like low profile. I like that. All kinds of nylon gear. I really like that low profile kind of setup. It's giving me ideas. Method wheels with the bead locks. That's cool. Let's see if I can fly around one more time.